aren't you just a cutie patootie with your bat like legs and your weird little arms? Oh, hello there. It's me, nobody. Are you a magical build wanting some better items and rings and talismans to further increase your powers? <laughs> Or just another side quest, achievement, or merchant to add to your ranks? Well, I'm here to help. This weird, cute little bat-like girl, she sells all of that. Along with items that help you find other items you may be trying to farm. But it's really easy to fail this quest, so be warned and pay attention. Well, that's pretty much for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or don't, because you know people are going to do what they're going to do. But thank you for watching. Let's go do the Fat Man side, I mean, Byron's side quest. And find the little bat-like girl. It's Bat-girl. <laughs> Let's go do this, Fat Man. -na 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 fat Man. Yeah, I laugh at my own jokes. I need help. Like, professional help. Okay, bye. Let's get started. To start this quest, you just have to make your way to the bell room. And he will be waiting in there by the vestige. Another one better. Talk to him, exhaust his dialogue, and the next time you'll see him will be in Finn. That's our next stop. You stop it, old man. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. It's a really bad old man. So on your way, falling down the hole and fighting the weird blob thingy. After defeating that giant testicle with teeth, you will come up in a swampy area called Fen. This is the second place you'll meet our good friend, the caretaker. Not far off, you'll find him with the vestige. Just waiting there with his shovel, looking like a serial killer, facing to bury a body. Talk to him, exhaust his dialogue, and then he'll move on to his third spot that we'll meet him at. The next time we encounter Byron, he will be in Sunless Skin, Vestige of Katrin. It's a little tricky to get here, but it is the main path, so you will find him eventually. I would do a walkthrough of this whole thing, but it makes the video way too long, so I gotta cut it short. But I will be showing you where to find the lever to drain all that water in that big swimming pool-like tower with the elevator and the skin stealer, dude. But don't you take that elevator. Don't you do it. I mean it. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. But let's talk to Byron. Hey, Byron. Where the hell's it gone? Whoever took it, I swear. He's really mad. Exhausts his dialogue. Basically, someone stole his pendant that his wife gave him. But they didn't really steal it. He lost it because he's a clumsy fuck. And the person who has it is a really cute, weird little monster girl that has some really good stuff the main reason why we're doing this quest. And she also gives you a pendant for any magic users, Inferno, Radiance, or whatever, it boosts it by a lot. So we're gonna rest at the Vestige of Katrin. And from here, we can't really go out this door because it's not open yet. So we're gonna run back over to this lever. We're gonna drain the water and you'll be able to pick those items up now that are on the dead bodies just jump down here pick up the items I don't really remember how many there was we'll run back up here and then we'll be able to cross this little bridge now and you can pick up another skull and knock this shortcut down Now we're gonna run through here, watch out for the Barrels of Doom, and this fucking guy.
doggos and uh, cobra people. Range weapons or spells will do you very well here. There's a little gate there we cannot get through right now, but kill the doggo because he's an asshole. Open your chest, get you some nice armor, really nifty armor. Might be your style, it might not. Who knows? Ooh, let's get some eyeballs. Shit! Didn't want to do that. Just want to get through there, please. Watch out for this guy down here. He's an asshole as well. He will murder you if you're not careful. What just hit me? <laughs> Here he is. This is the guy I was talking about. Hey, buddy. Stop it. It's bad. Really fucking bad. Get out of Umbro and we'll continue on with our little journey. Down here is a shortcut. You can kick this ladder down. We don't really need it, but we can continue on. This place is really weird and maze-like. Drop down here. Watch out, cause there there is a couple enemies. Old men, doggos, and act people. Pull the lever, crunk. I knew you was coming. You dick. Alright, that opened up that gate, so now we can get past there if we die. So many enemies. We want to go this way. And I think we can get over there through, yes, through the umbral. And that will be the key we need. Kill the doggy. That's a bad dog. Really fucking bad. I believe we gotten everything else in here that we need. We can't open this shortcut just yet. We'll do that here in a second. Alright, there would be a doggy and a cobra guy shooting bolts at you in here. Watch out for him. He will murder you. Now that we've murdered him, this part is very important. So listen up. This could break your quest, so be warned. From here, there's a temporary vestige spot we'll plop down. Rest up if you need to. And up here is a uh, boss, the skin stealer. Now, defeating him is kind of part of the quest, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and defeat him. Damn it. Yeah, you're dead. When you kill him, you can open this gate. You can even get that thing out of the pregnant, dead, weird, whatever that is. The vile piercer. But whatever you do, do not 
I repeat, do not go up this elevator. It will automatically fail your quest because Byron will move up there and he would have murdered that poor innocent little monster girl that we're gonna go find. It's an optional quest. It gives you an eye that you can socket into your lamp. And she sells some really good rings. I would highly recommend you do this quest. So, we beat the skin stealer. We did not go up the elevator. Now we can continue. From the temporary vestige, we're gonna head down this way. There's a X-Man with a parasite. So, murder the parasite and then murder him. We're gonna walk down this little tube. All right, we're gonna just run past all this. Watch out for these archer guys, they are dicks. Climb up this ladder. And the lever we need is in there. Pull that to drain the swampy area. Pick this up. Right there's the guy with the umbral parasite. We're just gonna plop down here. Be sure to heal up. Pick up your item. Then we'll go this way. Pick up this item. And we are one step closer to where we need to be. Revelation Depths. This is the next part of the quest. And it's a pretty long quest, but it is worth it. It is very much worth it. So keep heading down this way. There are a few enemies here and there, so just be mindful. Temporary Vestige. You can light these lights. I don't know what these lights do. Maybe they just give, you know, let you see better. After you rest it up, just run along with your journey. Picking up items as you see them. Yeah, I get too big of a hurry. It's probably gonna kill me. That looks like a trap. Most likely is. Yeah. It's fucking old men love pushing you off ledges and shit. Ooh, another like. Okay. Right here you can fall through. It wants you to walk right there, so we're just going to go around. Pick that up. Go in the umbral. Yeah. We're going to run and jump. Fucking butterflies. Be careful. They got a grab attack that is to die for. Literally. <laughs> there we go, that's a lot better. Pick you up a few large delirium. Get out of the umbral. Unless you want to see the Red Reaper, you might want to get out from time to time I forget most of the time all right move gargoyle I want any of that
Good lord. Couple items here. Vigor skull. I am tired of this place already, so I'm just gonna keep running through. Now, there's only a few items I need here, so if you need more items, maybe, you know, take a little bit extra time. Yeah, I don't even really need that item, because I already got it, but I'm gonna show you where it's at. Okay. Light this fire. There's a guy up there. Take him out. You see that right there? It is. I hit him that time. Pay no attention to my million satchels of ammunition, you know. Got those legitimately. You know, with friends duping. <laughs> you know, it's good to play through the game the first time around legitly, but after your second character, oh, everything goes from there. Here you want to go into Umbral. And over this way will be a couple dudes. I mean, we probably went into the Umbral too soon, but there's a shortcut you can take right here. Get you Miner's Desperation Shield, open the door, and Byron is here. Still mad that that little girl monster stole his pendant. Go back down the elevator. And it's a bitch trying to get that Umbral Parasite and deal with them too. But from here we're gonna go into Umbral. There's a few things over there if you want it. Lock on system just is just terrible. So play that thing. Watch out for those guys down there and then you're going to run and jump and attack. Why do we jump down here? Why do we do that so we can so play that thingy? And here you can pick up Umbral Eye of Dieter. Dieter. However you pronounce it. Light you another fire. Get out of the Umbral right here real quick. Unless you want to die. Because there's so many fucking enemies around. It's crazy. There's a lot more to this level you can get, but I'm not going to worry about it. This isn't a 100% walkthrough. This is a optional merchant walkthrough. Okay. Now that we got that, we can run past here. Attack. Watch out for these guys. Lower levels, they can one-shot and murder you. He's dead now. Fuck! Alright. I'm walking over this way. To light this fire. And plus, there's a little thing over there you can get. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Eat! Not sure what it is, but I remember it's something. Yeet! Oh my god, I risked my life for that. Yeet! I hate this place. Yeet! Woo -hoo -hoo. Attack! Attack! Fucking dicks. I need to get out of the umbral, please. Okay. We're gonna head this way. Go ahead, get us a little 
I... Why not? It's probably one of those gargoyle thingies. They are everywhere. Okay, they look pretty murdered. So we're gonna head this way, like I said. So flay this because it's a damn mimic. You can tell by the wiggly tail. They are sneaky. They will get you sometimes. Run and jump. Oh, it's good to put a temporary vestige. After you rest it up, we're going to continue on. Now, there is a little spot where you can go into Umbral here. Murder everything, because it will come back to haunt you later. So, flay the door. There will be some gargoyles and such in here, I believe. Murder them, so flay the pregnant thing. Pick up the penda of atrophy, or whatever it's called. Told you they'll come back to haunt you. Get out of the umbral. Because you're really going to need to be out of it in case this dude kills you. But there will be another archer up here. Yeah, right there. And a gargoyle. We're gonna go ahead and go this way and kick the shortcut down. Light our fire and put a temporary vestige right here. We're gonna go back this way and we're gonna head through this little door right here pick up some bigger skulls break through this wall then we'll head this way through this long corridor hallway whatever it is I don't know it identification is weird these days and this is who we wanted to meet this is who we traveled so far to come talk to this cute little bat girl thing Exhaust her dialogue. She'll give you a gesture, celebration. Now that her dialogue's exhausted, you can purchase the Hysteria Pendant. This pendant is great. Barrage Root, also great for any types of Inferno magic, Umbral magic, Radiance, anything buy all of her rings and anything else you'll notice this it doesn't cost vigor it costs worthless coins that we cannot get oh that's why I like this merchant but now that we talked to her we're gonna go ahead set up another another temporary vestige because why not i don't want to run all the way back just to check see if she's moved on but we're gonna go back to the sunless skein hoist and we're gonna go talk to byron and let him know that the person who took his pendant isn't evil the thief's not but an umbral afflicted girl that lamp's rotted your brain after you exhaust his dialogue, we're gonna go back to the elevator now, where we fought the skin stealer. Go up the elevator of doom. After you go up the elevator, Winterberry and Byron should both move to Skyrest. And we're finally here, yay! Now, if you would have took this before going to talk to that merchant, Byron would be up here and he would have murdered that poor thing 
So now we're gonna head back to Skyrest. From the vestige, we're gonna head down this way. To that door we unlocked way at the beginning of the game. That's where the tortured prisoner was, the, the queen, if you wanted to do her side quest. And they should be at the bottom of the stairs here. There they are. Talking to Byron will get you your rewards. It will give you an eye, and it will give you an achievement. Moving on. I didn't expect to see it. Exhaust his dialogue. And you'll get the Eye of Etherog. Etherag. I swear all these names are meant so you cannot pronounce them right. Go talk to her. After you exhausted both of their dialogues, go back to the vestige, reset the area. Run back to them where they're squatting at. And when you talk to Winterberry again, you will notice that her inventory has expanded a little bit. You can buy Byron's shovel, wildfire ring. Still can't buy that pendant. But now you can buy Byron's cap, his arm wrappings, his trousers, and his chest piece, Byron's garb. Bye -bye. Well, that's the end of the quest line, guys. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun. Did you enjoy this video? Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, my tarnished. And we will see you next time. Like and subscribe or I'll death blight you in your sleep. This message has been approved by the mayor of Froggy Town. Ha <laughs> ha!